Flux 1.08 update brings a new generative modulation interface, modular presets, scales, and CV MIDI note outputs. In this video, we will be looking at the interface and showing how you can use the new tools in your compositions. First, let's look at the self-gen UI which is accessed by pressing the mod button. There are 16 steps at the top of the page corresponding to the 16 steps of the main sequencer. Steps that are active will generate new values while inactive steps will not. Active step numbers are colored green and inactive steps are gray. All steps are active and shown in green by default. There are eight global parameters below the step activators. The first global parameter is weight. Parameter values are generated between the range of VAL1 and VAL2 below. Weight can bias the result towards VAL1 or VAL2. Negative weight settings bias towards VAL1. Positive weight settings bias towards VAL2. A weight setting of zero will generate a number from between VAL1 and VAL2. The even-odd parameter limits the generated values to either even or odd numbers. The frequency multiplier applies to all active frequencies. The second global frequency parameter sets all frequency values at once. Unique values are generated for all active steps by default. Switching on the same parameter will generate a single value for all active steps. On-off can be used as a master bypass toggle. When set to off, the UI displays gray values below to indicate that generating is currently bypassed. This bypass toggle is useful if you would like to stop generating temporarily and save a nice patch as a preset. Default and Gen are virtual buttons that are activated by right-clicking. Default sets the self-gen parameters back to their default state. The Gen button allows you to generate once. Generating once is useful if all frequencies are set to off. In this setup, you can select your range for each desired parameter, then click Gen until you find a nice result. Only parameters that are switched on will generate a new value when clicking Gen.
we now have the ability to load presets in a modular fashion. A full preset may be loaded as usual, or you can load only the rhythm parameters, just the CV elements, the modulation screens, or you can now load any full channel into another. In this way, you can combine your presets by loading the rhythms from one, the melodies from another, and saving the result as a new preset. This modular design also allows you to create multiple presets for your preferred default settings and reset any aspect of the sequencer to your default choice. You might create multiple self-gen defaults with different settings and save them with a descriptive title, then while patching you can load your self-gen variations into your active patch without affecting your other parameters. A new parameter has been added to the CV page. The scale parameter allows you to select from a factory selection of scales and also offers nine user scale slots that are auto-saved and loaded across power cycles. The scales are designed to work as expected with each octave split into 12 equal divisions by the quantize parameter. Flux can split each octave into any split of equal divisions between 1 and 24, but traditional 12 division scales require quantize to be set to 12 to generate the expected notes. MIDI notes are now sent every time a channel generates a trigger at the main output. MIDI notes for channel 1 are sent on MIDI channel 1 and so on for the four channels. The MIDI note velocity is controlled by the velocity parameter and can be linked to another channel CV output for example. Version 1.08 is available to download now from iolabs.co.uk.